Now let's say you did get flattened out. I'm gonna give you some tips to kind of recover, okay? And what I mean by getting flattened out is we're here like this. Person has a cross face on you and they're controlling your, um, your underhook here, okay? The first thing we're gonna do, that we can do, is we're gonna take this hand and we're gonna feed our hand inside, just like this. So I'm gonna feed my hand inside, just like this, and I'm gonna clamp my hands together, okay? So I'm doing this, one, two. Why am I doing this? Because I need to control this cross face here. If I get this cross face up, then off of me, then it's gonna make it much easier for me to start dealing with this particular situation. So I come underneath, one, Two, right? So let's see his shoulders even down. Bring his shoulder down here, and I can't get it right away. I'm gonna frame on his head and then get inside. Now I come here. Now he goes the shoulder down. It's gonna become harder. Now I can push off onto his shoulder, get to my side, and now I have my control position again. Once again, I'm here. Okay. So we turn this way. Look. If I can do this first, I'll go one, two. All right, so just come up a little bit. My hands are almost, they're gable gripped together. Here, like this. Then from here, I'm gonna drive hard into his like shoulder girdle. So I drive hard into his shoulder girdle and his armpit. Here, I push. Now I block the arm again. Okay, stay on my side, block the arm, keep my good position. If for some reason I can't get my hand inside, I still wanna keep this frame, look what I'll do, is I'll get like a C grip, because it's hard for me to gable grip, I'll get a C grip underneath his neck, then I'll push under, and now I'll go. And then I get my position here. Then I'll drive again, turn, and I get to my side, and then I have my good position, all right? Don't ever let this happen. If he has a deep underhook and his head's down, if you get here, this is a whole different story, because I can't get underneath his head anymore. I also can't get my hand underneath his armpit. Now we're having lots of trouble. At this point, I'm probably gonna have to um, focus on getting like a lockdown on him, so that way I can try to um, whip him up and then get my control from there. I can't even do what um, I believe Eddie Bravo calls the jaws of life. I can't use the jaws of life on him to push up as well, okay? If, it's, if he didn't have good head position, I could do the jaws of life on him here and then start pushing up hard, boom, to get space, and then come underneath and then get my position from there. You don't want it to get that deep. If you got that deep, um, it's like Kurt Ozeander says, you effed up a long time ago, all right? That, my mind's the nice version, all right? He would have he would have basically like told you off, all right? So you don't want it to get that far. If it gets that far, then you're just in a lot of trouble. Um, let's say, for example, they were able to, to really, to break you down. We gotta start focusing on what we can do with our legs. Because you gotta move. If, if you're not moving, then he's gonna try to figure, the person's gonna figure out a way to pass your guard. So let's say we're here like this, right? Same thing. And they get me down here, and he's just kinda like a little squared up. He doesn't have his hips dropped right now, right? Then I'll start working the lockdown on him. The reason why I like the lockdown is because I can really lift him up here, and I could use this to move his lower body around. Okay, so this will make it um, easier for me to start doing things. So the lockdown can help you possibly uh, stop them from getting good flat control on you. So I take my outside leg, I bring it over here. My inside leg goes over my ankle and then now I have the lockdown on him. Now at this point here, I wanna take my hands and basically put them in his armpits so he has good, have good control on me. And then from here, I pull down and then I come up like this here. Now once I come here, I'm gonna whip him this way and then try to get my my elbow and my shin inside at this point. Now once I get my shin inside here, now I have good control and then I can start working my hand to basically get inside his um, his bicep here. This is easier said than done. It's not like it's it's super easy to do. So when we're here like this, right? I come over, around. So this leg kind of hooks through. My ankle goes behind my knee. Knees go in, now I get the lockdown. Here, I don't, want, I don't want it like this. I want to scorpion his leg up. Here, then from here, I pull. He still has the position, right? But I'm gonna use this to now quickly whip him to my right. As I do this, I can either get my elbow in to get my knee inside, 
right? So once I come here, oh my god, knee inside, and then I can start recovering. So I use my elbow to get my knee inside, or I come here like this, I whip him up, I turn here like this, and I use this to create some space. See how he can actually post it out? He might not even actually post it out, but he might flare his elbow out a little bit. Oh, and now I can create, I can create space on his um, leg here, on I mean his arm, and then get the position here like this. So I'm here like this, I have this position. I, I basically post out, come through, start working my possible under, even if I don't have an underhook here, and he has an underhook on me, and start go get that position, start smashing me down, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard if I'm controlling this arm here. So I'm pushing, 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 working to get my knee in, controlling. Here, I can keep controlling this arm so I can get space. But it's a common factor. I'm controlling this cross face arm on me. Those are some, some things that you can do to deal with this particular scenario. Those are some different things that you can use to deal with getting smashed. The big thing is working on your, your half guard positioning. So play around these things. If you have any questions, let me know. Respond either to the email um, or if this video is on the grapplers guide. Post below and ask some questions and I'll do the best I can to help you out. All right? Peace.